like falling deeper. For the nights that I'm not sure. This is my fit today. I'm wearing a jacket and skirt that I got from Brandy Melville. Also a tank tube top from Maritzia in Converse. sugar syrup at the bottom so I got a shake shake this is this was the coffee brown sugar latte oh. <laughs> it's pretty good and these are the croissants I think I'm most excited about this lemon meringue croissant Look at these gorgeous croissants. Uh, I don't know like how much croissants are usually, but this one was five bucks, which to me, it's not very, it's not affordable. It just tastes like, this just tastes like, like lemon, lemon, yeah. And this one is egg yolk. This one tastes so interesting. This is egg yolk. It tastes like sweet egg yolk. At the very end, I can taste like the um, egg yolk, but the first taste is just very like sweet, like custard cream. And the last one, cheese. I can't really taste the cheese. But to me, it just tastes like regular croissant. I don't taste cheese at all. Maybe because like these two are so strong, the, the flavor is very sweet, so I can't really taste the cheese. But overall, I'll give it like 7 out of 10. I saw this croissant place um, on TikTok. It, it's been like coming up on my For You page, so I was like, yeah, just, let's just try it, give it a try. And it's not as good as I expected. I definitely have been to a better croissant place in Toronto, so... If you know any good dessert place in Toronto, um, let me know. I would love to explore a good dessert place in Toronto. Or like Vancouver if I ever go to Vancouver anytime soon. from the school and I'm going to have beef that I bought yesterday. So let's cook the beef. I'm talking a little quiet because my brother's sleeping. So this is my lunch. We have romaine lettuce, beef and kimchi and the sriracha sauce. I'm going to work in like two hours so I need to eat something before I go. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be super hungry and angry. sister's lunch and packing a night before because I get so tired in the morning I can't sometimes I can't wake up I'm making a bacon egg fried rice Done. 
I'm going to class now and this is my fit. I'm wearing this workout jacket, like a tight one. It's kind of like a Lululemon, the the line jacket or something like that. And I'm wearing this puffer jacket from Itzia and my usual sweatpants. going on here. We're on our way to a Malatang place at Finch. So we have to take subway for like 30 minutes to get there. But probably it's worth the hike. So we're at Finch now. It's like a little Korea town. There are a lot of Korean shops and restaurants here. It's been so long since I've been here, probably like over a year now. I went to high school near Finch, so I, I would come here a lot back in like high school, but now because I go to university in downtown Toronto, it's just a little hard for me to come here. Very nostalgic moment. is like 35 bucks. No way I'm buying that. <laughs> Chili pearl. For those of you wondering what my hair looks like, it looks like this now. Initially, I was going to get this part more lighter, but then I ended up uh, just toning it to brown color. I actually love it. Uh, it's gonna get more lighter as I wash my hair. And I got a haircut, like 90s blowout haircut. So it has a little bang here, layers here. I actually love it. Uh, what do you guys think? It's like it's much lighter and also less damaged too because I cut some dead ends. Ta -da. So I went to Brandy Melville today and I bought like three items there. Oh, I got this jacket for $58. I have this in brown and charcoal. I think they come come in various colors like beige, white, and I also saw like gray color too. I love darker colors, so I got this in washed navy. And also I got this um like a long skirt, long white skirt. I think it's called Easy Skirt. And this one is $45. Looks like this. And also waffle t-shirt long sleeve. I think this one was $31. Yeah. And I got this headband for like seven bucks. Mm -hmm. 